Good morning everybody, Omri here and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk to you about the struggle in a daily practice. I'm sure a lot of you, especially now during quarantine, are trying to do something every day, uh, some, maybe something consistent, maybe 30 day challenge, maybe something different. I, by the way, do something different every day. I'll try a different kind of yoga, I'll bike a little bit. Uh, I haven't gone swimming this, this year yet, but I like to vary my uh, practice every day. So in case you're wondering, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my god, let's just practice. That is so far from the truth. Sometimes I don't want to get on the mat. And you know what? I set up the room in the nicest ways possible for me to for it to be the easiest thing in the world. I just come upstairs, I turn on the camera and boom, I practice. But even that, and I have all the mats and, and there's AC and the room's really perfect. You couldn't ask for more, but you know, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for me. And I'm sure that to some extent it might be a struggle for you too. It's hard to find the motivation. And therefore you need to set um, an intention um, about, it's not really setting an intention. I take it back. Think about how you feel when you finish. Think how amazing you feel when you're done. Think how great your body feels. Think how happy you you are that you you feel that you did it. And you need to embrace that feeling and learn how to relive it a little bit before the practice. So when you're thinking of going upstairs or when I think of going upstairs and uh, stretching and moving, sometimes I feel so uninspired. I just don't want to move. I don't want to stretch. I just want to sit. Yesterday I sat and had mashed potatoes for like a while and they were delicious. Really great. But I didn't want to practice. Um, before the mashed potatoes, I did a 35 minute bike ride, indoor bike ride. Um, but that was, uh, that's, that just happens to be one of the easier thing for me to do these days, the bike. I don't know why it's just more comfortable, but a lot of times when I don't feel like it, I just imagine the two things. One is where I want to go with the practice, what do I want to achieve? I want to be back in shape. I want to be back doing all the great postures that I used to do in the past and I can't really do anymore. And the second thing is I think about how I feel after the practice when I'm sweaty and disgusting and it just feels so exhausted. But physically, I feel so good for the rest of the day. It's such an important thing to understand that everyone, I think, struggles with this. And some people have an easier time getting to it and some people don't. Um, but I wanted you to know that I go through the same struggle you do. It's hard for me as well, and I also have to pull sometimes very deep and find a way to the practice. And you know what? Some days I don't practice. Some days I do something else. The other day I ate popcorn and watched a movie instead of working out. That's okay too, but more days rather than not, find your way back to the mat. You'll thank yourself for it. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.